Okay, so it is 5.55 and I just finished pumping. I am going to get my bottles together. Um, making his bottle for the morning. He gets fresh pump milk so it doesn't go in the fridge. It just sits out until he's actually awake. Um, because it's freshly pumped, it can actually sit out for I think it's four hours. Um, it'll still be considered safe, so that's what we do. And then I'm gonna get my lunch bag together and my cereal show. This is just vitamin D drops that I put in his milk since he gets breast milk. Okay, so because I actually have my period, my milk supply drops during that time, so I'm gonna be using the inner chamber to store my milk, which holds 12 ounces, because that's probably what I'll get throughout the day. So I'm putting ice in the outer one. So when adding ice, you don't want to add a whole lot. I think on the instructions it says like 12 cubes or so, and then you add water to it. I actually recommend that you put ice in it. Make sure the inner chamber can fit before you add the water, because once you add the water, it will solidify everything, making it harder for you to actually close the lid. Okay, so I'm on my way into work. Actually, a few minutes behind. Um, but I'll get there on time. So, for my pumping schedule, um, I pump every four hours. On the days that I work, I actually get a total of five pumps in instead of four. So, on my work days, I pump uh, as soon as I get out of the shower. So, I pump somewhere between like 5 30, and I'm definitely done by like 5 55, 6. Um, and then I'll pump again around 9 30 10 um and then I try to pump around 1 32 which is normally around the time that I eat lunch so I try to eat lunch really quick and then I go to pump and then I try to get one more pump in um around 5 30 6 latest I if it's if I can't get to pumping by 6 then um I won't even bother because you know at the end of the shift you have a bunch of stuff to do turning patients cleaning patients going over your documentation and all that and then um, when I get home, I'll do my last and final pump, and that's generally somewhere like around nine something, um, unless I have work the next day, which I do work tomorrow, so I'll try to pump as soon as I get home, um, and wash bottles, and then get ready for tomorrow shift as well. When I don't have work, um, I just do four pumps, so I pump by eight o'clock, and then I do twelve o'clock, four o'clock, and then somewhere between eight and nine. Uh, when I go to bed and that will be my pump schedule so um, if it's not too crazy then I will bring you guys along for the pumps for the rest of my day um, on the shift okay so my first pump it's 10 a.m. got pushed back a little bit because there was a code um, so now I'm gonna pump this is our lactation space we just have like um, like two areas where we can pump um, and they just have like a curtain and then here's a chair. So, no pump. Okay, so just finished my second pump. Just going to pour it into the inner chamber. I'm using the inner chamber just because my milk supply is lower um, around that time of the month. So I don't need as much uh, space as I normally would. into the plastic bag and I just keep it in the plastic bag until I get home and then I just wash everything then and in between my pumps I stick my pump parts into the fridge that way I don't have to worry about cleaning them each pump So it's my last pump of the day. It's 5.30, so I'm just gonna pump about 20 minutes. 
Then um, go back down to the unit, finish up the rest of my charting, and then go home. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my day chart uh, pumping while working in the ICU. Okay, so just got home. It is 7.40. And I'll show you what I do with my milk that I pump throughout the day. So it's in the inner chamber, so I just pour it right into my bottles. And I stick them in the fridge, and this is the milk that we get tomorrow. And I work again tomorrow, so I'll be taking another cool day. You guys have a good night. Bye.